We are focusing on back to school this week and it might be a little challenging to get the kids out the door and, and have them asking for a snack too after, after school. Yeah, so we have Marie Feedbach. She's the founder of Feed Your Family Tonight, our family dinner coach. And Marie, you are back at it once again with a creative concoction. You know, this is just a fun little after school snack with ingredients. If you don't have them in your house, they're super easy to throw into your grocery cart and it just makes something kind of a fun little sweet treat after school. Graham cracker fruit pizzas is what we're making today and it starts with the graham cracker. I'm using just plain honey ones. You can see that this can really adapt if you wanted to use some chocolate graham crackers, mm -hmm. it'd be really good or even the cinnamon ones. And basically you have a graham cracker, you have some type of a spread and then you have some fruit. And I have three spreads here. I don't know what you guys are a fan of. This is just plain cream cheese in the tub and I like the tub because it spreads better than the block without having to soften. Okay. My personal favorite, strawberry cream cheese. Yeah. Just, you know, buy so that good. at the grocery store or you want to go full on sweet without thinking that you're going to do it a little bit healthy, bring on the Nutella, right? That's so, what I was eyeing. Yeah, yeah that looks spread. good. And basically, you're just going to spread the graham cracker with about a tablespoon of whatever. I mean, you could even do peanut butter or sunflower butter if you wanted to, to, to go that route. And then let the kids just put whatever kind of fruit that they want, whatever you happen to have on hand. Today I brought some mandarin oranges and I brought some blueberries and some sliced strawberries. Kiwi's really fun. Or you could go in a different direction and do like bananas and sliced apples. Sure. I mean, any of these things make just a really, really fun little snack. And you know, I don't know about you, but my kids, they have been grazing all summer long. Shane, yes. I don't know if your kids are big grazers. It's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> and when they go to school, they have their regular meal times and their regular snack times if they're still little. And they come home and they are starving. Mm -hmm. And so this is just kind of a fun little snack that um, it, it's easy. And again, you can keep the ingredients on hand. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Yeah, but it's like a push-pull, though, because you want to encourage that healthy snack and everything after school or but but what's your rule in terms of creeping up toward dinner to not spoil the dinner when are they allowed to have a snack like this so in in my house we often eat dinner later because my kids are older and they're in a lot of after school activities mm -hmm. so this is almost more of like an end to a snack i almost do kind of mini meals after school for my kids where i'm trying to get a protein and some veggies and something into them and this is almost like a dessert of snack if you if you have littler kids and you're trying to eat dinner sooner I try and get just a little light snack in them so that they still have an appetite at dinner. It kind of depends upon the phase of life you're in and uh -huh. when your family eats. So as a parent, you've got to think about that. What kind mm -hmm. of snack are you giving them? Are you giving them a hearty mini meal so that they can go to soccer practice? Or are you giving them a little something to tide them over so you can have an early dinner? The timing is everything. Isn't it though? Yeah. And with dinner, everything. You know, dinner is about time management and at Feed Your Family Tonight, I talk about that a lot because it really isn't about the recipes. It's about figuring out when you're going to eat and how those recipes work with your schedule. Absolutely. And you just had a post too that I really uh, liked and it was just really meaningful and such a good reminder for a lot of families right now that you said at the beginning of this, this is pretty easy yeah. to do. And there's a lot of easy dinners as well that you shouldn't feel guilty about, especially as you're getting back into the swing of things. You don't have to do anything too crazy and out there. You know, dinner doesn't have to be a moral issue. Right. If you're feeding your family, that is enough. And I'm here to help you with simple meals, but if, the, if it's chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese, you're not a bad parent. It is oh. Okay. Absolutely. Shane, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I, that was so good. Great snack. Allison, load me up with like a strawberry or Is something on there. Yeah, there you go. See, it's, I'm just going to put a bunch of strawberries on here. That's my favorite. <laughs> Why not go with what you know? Make it easy. Uh, but a lot of variety right here, Marie. This is once again a little assortment, but all kinds of possibilities out there for you to just kind of dress up a graham cracker, yeah. make it a little edible plate. <laughs> <laughs> a fun little after school snack. Yeah. And your kids are going to think that they got something really special. Absolutely. And if you let them make it themselves, too, I'm sure they would have a great time with that. Marie, tell us where we can find more of these recipes that we can, hel uh, can help us as we're getting back into this routine. Sure, Allison. Everything is at FeedYourFamilyTonight.com. That is my blog. You can get to the podcast there. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I'm everywhere at FeedYourFamilyTonight. All right. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next Monday right here on Good Morning Kickland. We'll be right back after this.